Hi, Dr. Barrett. I'm here demonstrating the results of a patient uh, for her annual follow-up. She was here a year ago uh, where she underwent a rhinoplasty uh, for the primary concerns from the uh, frontal view of the uh, width of her nose, um, as well as the tip definition um, and the width of the base of the nose or the flare of her nostrils. Uh, so in order to provide for the most natural appearing results, it's very important to create uh, structure to the nose and that structure will give the nose more definition. So in her case, in order to uh, provide for this degree of support, the cartilage from the inside of the nose called the septum was used uh, uh, through what's called a septoplasty, as well as cartilage from behind uh, the ear uh, is used uh, as well to provide for this structure, uh, which to give the nose uh, a very uh, refined appearance, um, as well as uh, more definition to the bridge and to the tip. So she's here with us uh, post-operatively after a year. Um, and as you can see, uh, we've created uh, more definition to the bridge um, as opposed to the flatter appearance to the bridge. Uh, previously, she now has more structure, more definition to the bridge. And we've brought this definition down into the tip area as well as reduce somewhat the flare uh, of the uh, nostrils and the width of the base of the nose. Uh, that way it the, uh, maintains a very natural uh, look to the nose uh, without appearing uh, pinched or operated on. And then from the side view, uh, we've been able to create nice refinements uh, to the tip uh, by elevating the tip slightly, giving it better definition, uh, better projection, as well as uh, more structure and more support to the bridge itself. Thank you.